What's good y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I gotta show y'all a new upgrade I made to my 1998 Honda Accord. I've been having this car since 2016. I got it as a graduation present um, for my grandmother actually. And you know, it's it's been my pride and joy. You know, it's been getting me to point A to point B. You know, it's been in, uh, I believe two accidents still running. This car is older than some of you guys, you know. I remember riding in this car when I was a kid, when my grandma used to pick me up from school. And she never really drove it, you know. When I originally got this car, I got it with 70,000 miles on it. Remember, it's a 1998 on the Accord. Now it's at like, I think 170,000 miles. Not too bad for a car that's almost 20 years old or close to it. So, but I gotta show you guys this new upgrade. So, over the years, I've been adding little stuff to the, to the whip. I've added uh, lights under the dash. Well, not under the dash, under the passenger seat and under the, uh, the driver's seat. I've added a new radio system, Bluetooth capable. And, you know, I've also added just, you know, different stuff to, you know, modernize the car. But I got to show y'all this. This is one of the best features right here. You see this? You oh. see this? Look at this. Look at this. Boom! Oh my God, look at this. Yo, look at this. I don't ever have to worry about locking like my keys in the car because I can just do this. I can just, look, just pull this out. I can reach in like that's amazing, man. There's a lot of glass everywhere, but you know, you, you can vacuum that up. You feel me? Like that's amazing. Look at this new feature. Look, let me show y'all again. I want to show y'all again. It's kind of bright out here. Look at this. Look at this, boom. It's locked, right? Oh no, I can't get in my car. What am I to do? I can't get in my car. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at the amazingness. Nah, all jokes aside, it's hot as hell. Damn, every time I slam it, it just glass goes everywhere. All jokes aside, my car got broken into last night. Um, I was chilling at a chick's crib and I've been over to this person's place several times actually and nothing's ever happened and then finally this morning i go out there to leave and i noticed the person that was parked next to me their window was busted open so i'm like yo that's that's messed up i don't think they know and then i check my car my my passenger side was busted open like I was looking on the driver's side, everything was fine because I, you know, I just wanted to check, make sure. And my passenger side was busted open, and that's when I found out they broke into my car. They checked the glove compartment, nothing. They couldn't find anything there. They checked the the center console, and that's where they found all my change. I'm more upset that my change has been taken. I've been saving up this change since like late 2018. I do this like every year, once a year. I will just, you know, like get like a bag and any change that I get I save it up I fill it up I don't care if it's from the gas station from orders whatever I just put all the change in there and then once a year I just cash all the change out that's what I was gonna do later on this year I had a lot of change and they stole it them fucking bastards stole all my change man they didn't take nothing else because there was nothing else for them to take pro tip doesn't matter what car you in old or new don't have anything valuable in your whip Make sure you keep everything valuable at home. Don't have anything valuable in your whip. And if you do have something valuable in your whip, put it in a trunk out of sight. Because this is proof that it doesn't matter how old your car is. They will, you know, people will rob you. The person that was next to me, their car was a little bit newer. They robbed them and then they robbed me. So, you know, this, this is one of those things. I'm not really too upset because at the end of the day, I'm just going to get it replaced. And it gives me a reason to get some new tint on the whip so i'm not even tripping but it's just one of those things where it's like hey you know it, it happens so to that individual that stole my change broke my window i had to drive home with glass flying everywhere i just hope you understand karma will get you and i hope at some point in life i don't know how this will happen that you get choke slam through a flaming table wrapped in barbed wire i don't want you to die I just want you to feel pain. And I think that would be a adequate enough pain to get choke slammed through a flaming table wrapped in barbed wire. Comment down below 
what y'all think this thief should get? What type of punishment should this thief have to go through? Comment down below the best punishment and I will definitely probably end up pinning it. But I love you guys, man. Once again, just know that, you know what I'm saying? Things like this happen. That's why you always gotta make sure you're always prepared and, you know, have some money saved up. So when stuff like this does happen, you're able to take care of it. But I love you guys so much. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on our next one. Peace.